So we're here today in the Sam Wanamaker Playhouse where we've just taken delivery of probably the largest lorry load of timbers, some of the main timbers that are going to form the auditorium for this new indoor Jacobean theatre. Once we start to put those timbers up, it will define the shape of the auditorium and it will start to look more like a, an indoor timber theatre. From the very beginning, the premise of this project has always been the set of drawings that were discovered in the 1960s in Worcester College, Oxford. They were discovered in a library there. 20 years ago when the globe was being developed, the shell for the indoor theatre was in fact built based on those plans. When the project kind of came back to life again, in those intervening years, it was concluded that those drawings were of a later date. It meant that the drawings in fact were dated outside of Shakespeare's lifetime. The drawings are still the earliest surviving example of an English indoor theatre, so they are considerably important. The conclusion really was that they were probably very early stage drawings, which means their kind of presentation concept plans rather than, rather than buildable construction drawings. One of the most significant points really that came out of that that led to quite a change in the plan was the conclusion that the gallery could never have really been built in that time as, as curved. So the drawing here shows the curved gallery. This is the original 1668 drawing and this is where we are today which shows a faceted plan which is much more likely how they would have, would have built it. The structure has been prefabricated in the workshop and by that we mean that all the timbers and the joints have been marked and cut and fitted uh, off-site in the workshop before bringing them to site here. We haven't got room for storing all the timber here in one go so we've had to make a series of phase deliveries. We work out what we're going to put up over the next two or three days and of course each timber is individually marked so we know where each timber goes. We tend to use a discrete method of marking, so very often we're marking inside joints rather than on a visible surface. We do have historic examples of cutting their Roman numerals inside a joint. Historically, the carpenters would have had various lifting devices, derricks and gantries and windlasses to help lift the timbers up. What we're doing today has a historical precedent. Authenticity really has been at the forefront of every single decision that we make on the project. And then we have to think carefully about protecting the timber in every stage of the move because the timbers form part of the finished surfaces in the theatre. So they're not just structural timbers, they're also part of the, the visual finish in the theatre. It's very difficult for everyone to always remember that when one's handling these large heavy pieces of oak, they're equivalent to a wallpaper or to a carpet or a floor finish. We're going to have these lavishly decorated ceilings with gold leaf twinkling from the candlelight below, beautifully carved timber. So hopefully when audiences finally enter into the space, they'll be blown away by the beauty of the interior. The timbers that you see behind me standing up are the Francini, which is the wall at the back of the stage. And if you look, you can see that there is the one large central opening and two side doors. In January 2014, the actors will actually be entering onto the stage for the first time into this new indoor theatre. 